What's up everyone? It's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing you another video. Of course, shooting from my phone again, you know, laptop is still down, but we are here to talk about because the new Matrix is finally out. I'm going to be checking it out later this weekend, but for right now, we're going to be talking about the very first Matrix film. So that means we're going to take you all the way back to 1999. And if I was to describe 1999, it was definitely quite a time. Like, I was only, like, around 9, going on 10. I turned 10 in August of that year. And I can tell you right now, 99, going into that Y2K thing in that era, this was a wild year for sure. It was a powerful year, a really big year in movies as well. But I think The Matrix is one of those films that it's so monumental because of the time that it came out and what it was able to do. It really did change movies forever after that and that's the big thing is like there's a few movies like probably a handful like you know that you can say throughout time when they came out they really changed and influenced every movie after that the way they were going to be shot the way they were going to be filmed anything like that because the matrix had so many like crazy graphics it was a wild story that I think audiences were prepared for. We were ready for something new. And I think when audiences saw this, it really just blew them away because they wanted something new and fresh. And Matrix really does offer that, even though it takes a lot of vibes or a lot of um, a lot of homages and ideas from like Alice in Wonderland. It takes a lot of stuff from that. And it's also kind of like a, about a person kind of discovering themselves, you know what I mean? Almost like, you know, really finding out who they are and who they're going to be in life. And I think just in that time, like I said, it really hit that perfect time. And it was the perfect style movie, this sci-fi action movie mixed with like martial arts, crazy gunfighting, you know, an immersive story. And some great actors like Keanu Reeves, Carrie Ann Moss, Lawrence Fishburne, Hugo Weaving. Like there's amazing people in this film and they bring to life some of the most interesting characters that we've ever seen in a movie in the last like 40 years like like for real matrix 99 like you could argue is one of the greatest movies of all time because of what it was able to do and how it influenced movies after that and like i said that time sometimes movies just come out in that perfect time and it means so much more so let's get more in depth in like personal reasons of why i love the matrix franchise i really do love all the three films i do like for me, Matrix 1 and 2, they kind of flirted for a long time as which one was the top dog. Matrix 3 for me, Revolutions, that's where it kind of falls off. It dips a little bit. But for personal things, I actually did not get to see this first film in theaters. The first Matrix film was actually shown to me by my uncle. A few months later, like after it was out of theaters and it was on home video to rent, he rented it one night, had me and my mom over and we were hanging with him and, you know, my cousins and stuff. And we all watched The Matrix and that was my first immersive experience with The Matrix. And just from that first scene, that intro scene with Carrie Ann Moss, like being chased by, you know, the agents, like that first scene just had me right away. And I was like, dang, like this is something really cool because I'm a huge fan of martial arts films. I love sci-fi. So to see those, like those genres really blended well together it was amazing to really experience that and like at, like I said right after that first like intro scene I was like dang we're in we're in for something really special and like I said this is like probably like easy a 9.5 or a 10 for me like this just because of how important this franchise was the time it came out this movie is a banger for real and like Keanu Reeves I think every dude like or every male in my like at my age you know thought they were Neo or wanted to be Neo because you wanted to be like the one you wanted to get immersed into this world and be chosen and take the, you know, go down the rabbit hole and like take the red pill and all this kind of stuff. So that's, what's really cool about the film is like, it does offer you so many characters that you can get attached to and like be it men or women, you can really get attached and feel and see yourself in some of these characters. So this is, like I said, such an important film. I wanted to just drop my thoughts on this film. Like I said, Matrix, the very first one, 1999. This is easy, a 9.5 out of 10 in my book. Like this is like, Schneeper, like I said, perfect film. Like for me, it's just, oh man, it's, it's one of those films. Like it just sticks with you. It does. And like now we have the fourth film. So Matrix isn't technically a trilogy anymore. And we had the Animatrix come out too, which I think is a pretty good solid movie as well. 
But before that, when it was just the three Matrix movies, I still think that was probably one of the top dog trilogies still to this day. I know a lot of fans, there are a lot of people that kind of talk crap about the second one and the third one, about how they really did deep dive and kind of like cut up their own stuff, but and like, you know, convoluted stuff in those films. But I love those films. Like I said, we're going to get into those ones later because we're going to talk about the second one reloaded and we're going to talk about revolutions before we get into our fourth film resurrections i'm going to review them all then we're going to rank them all so stay tuned to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing and take this ride on with me as we go through the matrix films have a safe and happy day everyone peace out